So this video is how to hatch brine shrimp. You're going to need some kind of container to hatch them in. You can find one of these on Amazon or eBay for about $15. These black bases allow you to screw a 2 liter pop bottle into them and it's a quick and cheap easy way to hatch brine shrimp. You're also going to need some airline tubing and an air pump. Here is the pop bottle. You simply cut the bottom of it off like that so that you can fill it up with salt water. You can use just the standard salt water that you're going to use in your aquarium, 125, and you screw the pop bottle into the black base here and small bubbles will come out from the bottom and rise to the top. This will ensure that the eggs are mixed around so they're not just sitting stagnant in the bottom of the water. To hatch the brine shrimp, you're also going to want some light on them and they're going to need a temperature of about 60 to 80 degrees. You can see here's another little vessel that I have for hatching brine shrimp which I like better because the eggs will just sink to the bottom and around the top which makes collecting the shrimp easier and also having a little valve on them makes it way easier to hatch the shrimp and collect them. So once you got your whole kit ready and set up you want to have about one or two bubbles per second and this I just want to make a quick side note this will not work if you try to use fresh water you have to use a standard salt water mix this is an air check valve and this is handy so you don't want any of the water going from your vessel back into the air pump this check valve lets you control the bubble rate and again one to two bubbles per second is ideal any more and you might end up killing most of the brine shrimp because they just won't be able to handle that much movement in the water and this is what it looks like all set up and you're about ready to add the brine shrimp eggs now you're aiming for about 90 percent or higher hatch rate if you have any lower hatch rate you're just going to have too many dud eggs that are going to rot in the water and they're probably not going to hatch because the water quality will just be too bad and it will also get really smelly so 90 to like 95 and I've even seen like 99% hatch rate you definitely want to get something at least 90% or higher so fill about a teaspoon to tablespoon up per two liters of salt water and it will take about one to two days for your brine shrimp to hatch if the water is more towards 80 degrees it will take about a day if it's more towards like 60 to 70 degrees it will take more like two days and you want to have light over your containers for at least 12 hours you can leave the light on for 24 hours if you want and having a container with a nozzle definitely makes things a lot easier because you'll be able to collect them a lot easier this is what the brine shrimp eggs look like once they're hatched and these are just a few hours old. They're orangish pink in color and they make a really healthy snack for breeding fish, feeding your corals, freshwater fish, whatever you want. Well, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. That's it for now. Thanks.